Here's why you should never cuddle with your pet Many people take their love of pets to a whole new level by bringing the flea infested little cretins on their beds to sleep and cuddle with You may not be able to see those little critters crawling underneath the fur of your pets But that dog of yours is housing an entire colony of fleas bugs and even round disgusting ringworms You could catch the bubonic plague That's right the bubonic plague even though it's been completely eradicated from the streets, it's still out there. In fact, there are over 23 records of humans contracting the debilitating illness from their family cats and dogs alike. A bad case of roundworms. Dogs and cats are full of these icky, disgusting roundworms and hookworms. While full grown adults won't necessarily latch onto you for sucking your life force, they will lay eggs on your skin instead. They burrow underneath your skin afterwards. Please don't lick their tongues Your pets much like your little toddler have a tendency to lick eat and put anything which can fit into their mouths And we're not talking about little toys either. They like to feast on bugs and rodents They can't control their poop Dogs love to eat poop. They just can't get enough of their own feces and if you're not immediately put off by this alarming fact Then perhaps learning about the contents of their poop will two words E. coli and salmonella Their paws are not clean as Is the case with their mouths which would lick just about anything cats and dogs obviously don't have any footwear At least not anything that we know about this means their furry little paws come into contact with a lot of dirt Those ticks will rub off on you It's more than just their love which rubs off on you if they have fur it presumably means they harbor ticks and those ticks love to feed on your blood and infest it with all kinds of nasty we can't even mention. Mange mite. Mange mites are extremely inconspicuous and are oftentimes hidden in plain sight. That's because they reside on your dog's hair follicles, which extremely minuscule crevices surrounding your hair. Every time you cuddle your dog or sleep with it, they transfer over to you. It's not just diseases you should be worried about. While cats like dozing off for at least 15 hours a day, their sleep pattern is extremely of a haphazard nature. Their sleep pattern is extremely of a haphazard nature. They sleep in small increments, each time waking up with voracious bouts of energy, which will certainly destroy your sleep. Your pet isn't exactly a teddy bear. A cat may be harmless to you, but this isn't the case with your toddler. Keep your cats away from your child because they might smother it unknowingly. We know it looks cute, but you're putting everything at risk here You'll get bored of your pet soon enough That tends to happen when you get hitched to your better half and prefer sharing your bed with them instead That's when your ex cuddling buddy takes a hike But once your pet becomes addicted to your warmth, they won't adjust as well to their new environment They'll just pee on you instead well, your pet may previously have been on a habit of peeing on the table or neighbor's porch They may just start peeing on you instead and you definitely don't want to be covered in their bacteria infested pee Dogs are ferociously territorial If you plan on sharing your bed with both your dog and new partner, you might just be at serious risk Dogs don't take kindly to strangers and will definitely swipe their paws at your better half for coming near your bed the statistics are not on your side Around 25,000 people contract cat scratch fever on an annual basis It's a viral bacterial infection which can prove fatal to people with weaker immune systems One scratch or bite from your cat could transmit the dangerous bartonellosis and infect you You don't want salmonella from your cat Cats which spend most of their time outdoors usually end up eating smaller animals such as birds and rodents they have salmonella and because you're sleeping with them the bacteria gets transferred over to you causing illnesses such as diarrhea and stomach pain But here's a tip and if you just can't snooze off without your pet buddy by your side Consider deworming them every four months or so get them vaccinated as soon as possible because their parasites will soon find a new host in you